I've dedicated probably about the last 15 years of my life to the practice of yoga. And if yoga was just a physical practice, I would have no interest. The reason I've dedicated my life to practice of yoga is simply because I am convinced it increases our capacity to love. If yoga did not increase our capacity to love, I would wash my hands of it. I would have no interest. So here's why. Here's, I invite you to take this view on the practice of yoga and hopefully your own practice. You see, when we step onto a yoga mat or meditation cushion or any of it, it's almost like we're stepping into a training ground. It's a practice for real life. So when we step onto a yoga mat, we learn to connect the breath. We learn to create a relationship with our mind, with our thoughts, with our emotions, with our, with our body. A new relationship of mindfulness where we learn to be present. The very first teaching of yoga at the Yoga Nushatanam, yoga begins now. Outside of that present moment, yoga can't exist. Only in that moment, so as we cultivate that relationship on our mat, in our practice, it now gives us the ability to live from that place in everyday life, off our mat. So when we step onto our mat or our cushion, that's just a training ground. Because if we can't connect the present moment from there, and if we can't keep this mindful relationship to our breath, our mind, spirit, our body, God, on that little mat, then when we step off that mat, we're going to be thrown out of alignment and we're going to lose it. So I invite you to think of your yoga practice. Every time you step there, this is where you train for life so that we can live from a place of love, a place of genuine love. How can I say that? How does yoga help us love? How does yoga help us live from a place of genuine love? It's all in the very first and second teaching of the Yoga Sutras. Atta Yoga Nushasanam, Yoga begins now. Yoga Shita Vritti Nirodaha, Yoga is the quieting of fluctuations of the mind. Listen carefully. We think we know how to love, and we do. It's in us, but we need to remember. Because the only place genuine love can exist is in the present moment. Anytime we allow our mind or emotions to take us out of the present moment, it inhibits our ability to love genuinely and completely. So the practice of yoga gives us the ability to live in the present moment, which is the only place genuine love can exist. Unconditional love. So as we learn on our mat, how to live in the present moment and cultivate that ability on that training ground, we're able to love more and show up more from that place of unconditional love on our, in our lives. And we're going to talk a little bit in part two about how and what it means to live in the present moment, how it means to, what it means to be in yoga, in union, and how that increases our capacity to love.